Hey, what's up? Got another cruise offer in the mail. And so we're gonna be going on a cruise pretty soon. It's all about playing craps on the cruise to win a free cruise. And in order to do that, you have to have a strategy that you could play for a long time because it's all about how many points you can get. Um, and it's time at the table and average bet. So I'm gonna show you the strategy and I'm gonna just roll out a practice round. Why don't you roll along, bet along and see how you do. Let me know in the comments. Welcome to the Holy Roller where it's all about playing craps and winning free cruises. I'm gonna show you what it's all about. So let's get rolling. Hey, what's up? You're just in time. We got the point of 10 and we have our don't pass for $100 right here. And we just lost on this because this is how we did the come out with a yo because this loses on 7-11. We just got to miss that 7, and the 11 was to back it up, but we lost that one right there. But we're out on the 10, and one thing that's very unique about that is uh, we have $100 to play out here and here. What I like to do, because on a 4 or a 10 with this strategy, if you put in $2 and go ahead and buy this bet, that pays 100 okay? So that's the VIG that you have to pay or the percentage to place that bet or to buy that bet. It pays 100. So if the 10 comes, it'll cover this. And then uh, if the seven comes, it's gonna cover this. Although what we're gonna do is we're gonna go like this. We're gonna add 10 more dollars. So if you count the $2 we spent there, this $10 and this $10, that's $22 that we're in. And the thing that's really awesome about this strategy here is your average bet is over $200 right now. And technically, we're only risking $22 right now. After you get past the seven, that's the big thing. Or I should say, get past the, the, the seven at the beginning. You got to get past that come out seven. If you do, you're in business, all right? And so here we go. Let's roll them and see what happens here. We're going to roll and see if we can get a six or an eight. And it's a midnight, midnight, wow. All right, so with the midnight, we have another strategy that we do within our strategy called running with the bulls. When you see a horn, you bet a field, equal field and horn bet. And so we're gonna do $10 right there in the field and $10 on the horn. It came just like that, so it might as well stay true to our game. Now we're risking a little bit more, but let's see what happens. And it is, oh man, horns come in pairs, folks. All right, I always say horns come in pairs uh, unless it's a unicorn or a unihorn. But um, but we win both places. So we get that right there. This one, the way this bet works on a horn high yo, if you have $15 uh, or, or $10, sorry. So let's, uh, I'm gonna put it in uh, ones so you can see. It was $2 here, $2 here, $2 here, and $4 on the yo. And so we lose all these bets right here. It pays 15 for one, for, so two of them would pay $30, okay, for the two, right? So that's that's the, the amount that we get right there. So we got $30 plus this one right here. We're just gonna go ahead and keep that one up uh, right there, and we're gonna rack. Th there's that money. That's the investment money that we first started off with. Let's put it there, and then we're also gonna put this one in the rack. We still got $10 and $10 because uh, we just keep that riding, okay? So it is, uh, let's see if we can hit it one more time. Why not? All right, let's do it. All right, here we go. Let's see, and it is a six. All right. So let's take these down, right? And this six wins this right here. Now, uh, we want to maybe come up and go like that. Let's do that. Go straight into an iron cross. We got the field, but no horn bet with it. But this would be uh, $35 and we would lose that. So it's a profit of $25 or $10 on every roll. I like to get into that iron cross as soon as possible. But when you get into the iron cross, it's important not to be too high here. I, if I did put a quarter here, um, I would win either $10 or a quarter, meaning on the field, but, but I'm gonna do it like this and hope for a five, six or eight to hit. How about it? Why not? Let's do it. And you might say, well, if you're hoping, oh, there's a five. You might say, if you're hoping for a five, six or eight to hit, why are you even betting the field? 
because maybe it might not hit, all right? And so then we lose that, we got that, that's a quarter. Now what we could do is we can uh, take the five up to 50, just keep all our money out here, or we could start racking up some, some winnings. So I think, let's do it, I'm gonna just do it, like uh, uh, because we're breaking even now, so all of this is just ready to go, like ready to, ready to roll. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we hit that five again. Nope, it's an eight. All right. So same thing happens. We lose right here and we get an eight. Why don't we do this? Let's just take the eight up to 60 and we're going to throw in another five dollars right there. And let's roll again. So I don't know if you noticed, but I'm doing the hard way set, which is a four, two, four, two, pretty much. And I'm rolling it from uh, stick left uh, one, position one, about seven feet away. So let's see. What did we get? A nine, a niner. All right, Nina. All right, so that that wins here. So let's uh, let's just rack this $10, all right? We got to rack it at some point. I think what I usually do is I just usually rack it when it makes when it's convenient <laughs> so there oh the seven came just like that oh my goodness i should have just focused all right so we're going to take all this down and we're going to uh lose a lot of our profit here and uh that we had out there now that didn't come out of our rack okay the uh, but we did, we did rack. I think we racked, I'm not sure about, about how much we racked. I think about 50 to $60 that we racked. We're going to put this back in here. All right. And I would say we're pretty much even right now, but, uh, let's see what we got. There's the seven. So, uh, again, we want to come out and miss that seven and we're going to have the 11 here just in case that that will pay 150. This is a hundred dollars. So let's, let's get it and let's, roll and see if we can uh, avoid that seven here we go and it's a 10 wow back out on the 10 and 10 will make you grin all right here we go we lost this one here and we're gonna go out again okay or let's throw another two dollars to buy this all right so we buy it on the four and ten just go straight up into it um because uh it you know it, it makes sense um, for me, for this strategy, light in the darkness. And then we're going to put in another 10. So we're $22 in. Let's get a hit. We just need a hit of a six or eight. Last time I just went straight to the five, but let's get a hit and rack one so we can have a little bit more profits. Nope, not going to happen. $22 gone. All right. Because we have the $2 that we paid for that. And then we have this 10 and that 10. So $22 gone. All right. And this one right here, this hundred, we get paid right there. So we got that hundred back. So uh, what's really cool about it, I say, I'll say it again, is we we lost twenty two dollars. Our average bet was over two hundred dollars, and um, but we can't afford to just keep losing twenty two dollars every time. So we have to get some hits, and so we can try it a different way. But we're out on the ten, and or no, what was that? No. We lost. We lost. We were out on the 10 two times in a row. Let's see if we can do it three times. All right, here we go. That would be cool. That would be that would be cruel if we can't even hit it though. <laughs> All right, here we go. So let's see. Uh getting uh getting my set here and let's roll it. And it is oh man, a seven. That's this is when you lose money. I, I recently did a video and my my strategy wasn't working. And that's why it wasn't working. There were so many come out sevens and it's just, you gotta. So, so there's another thing. So if you take this and you put it there and you want to risk your 25 and 10, then you're really, so, so let's do it like that. Okay. This, this would pay uh five for one. So this would cover that. All right. So then we're putting it. So this is, the other way you could do is you could lay the four and 10, uh, but you're putting a lot more money out there. So there, you know, you're going to lose. Uh, I mean, there's nothing, all this can't win, but something will, uh, hopefully, uh, if it's, if it's, uh, what do you call it? A, um, one of these, but if it's a box number, you know, you're going to lose at least 35. That's one hit. That's one hit that we're looking for. So let's see 
Let's see if we could do that. Let's see if we could do that. This is this is kind of like in uh, four. <laughs> four. This is, uh, I was going to say, this is kind of like uh, desperation mode. Uh, putting $35 uh, insurance for $100. So that's 35% for insurance. That's uh, not, not, that's, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. All right, here we go. So this time it's a four. Okay. So this time, let's be a little aggressive. Instead of buying the four, let's go ahead. We're going to add in just to make these right. Let's put that there. Let's put this here. There we go. We're, we're down. We we're losing we're losing on this on this shooter right now. So let's be a little bit desperate, maybe aggressive if you would, to see if we could get some hits on this. And hopefully, there we go. All right, there we go. So there, I was gonna say hopefully it won't be one of these numbers here because it would only win ten. All right, let's go. Since we're being aggressive, this is a horn uh, high yo. So what that would be is it's five dollars each and ten dollars on the horn. So that's what that is. That's what that bet is. Let's just make it happen. See a horn, bet a horn and field. Running with the bulls. Is it a bull with two horns or is it a unicorn? Or or we'll see right here. What is it? It's a hard 10. It's a hard 10. All right. So that, that just wins this right there. So let's go ahead and just rack it. Um, and, and just, it didn't come. Oh, we usually say do it twice. So what should I do? Should I do it twice? Let's just do it twice. So same bet, right? Same bet. We're just gonna, we're gonna let that ride. Let's let that ride. You might say, Brian, you're crazy. Crazy for letting that ride. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. We, we're getting aggressive. We're getting desperate. Let's, uh, <laughs> there it is, a six. Yep, you're right. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. So we lose this. So that was a difference of $15 there. So that was a, all that money out on the table. Our average bet is really high, but we actually just lost $15 on that risk. All right, let's go to 10. Let's rack this 25, start getting some of our money back. What do you say? Let's do it. All right, still got to miss that uh, four on the end there. <laughs> There's a six. All right, so here we go. There's a six like that. Let's put this back. Let's rack this 25. Let's keep those going with the with the racking of the... Racking of the 25. Just we gotta we gotta rack a couple of those to get back to where we are. Oh seven man. All right, so uh not too bad because we did rack some. So uh this pays, right? So see this right here. So we got an extra five dollars there. There's a hundred. I'm gonna just leave that there. Um and then we'll put ten dollars here. And so we'll put the five in our rack there. So you can see that even on a seven out. We were able to rack a couple uh, greens, but also we're able to have all of our bets pretty much in place, even on a seven out, right? So that's why we do it. All right, let's pick that three and roll that three. I'm not even gonna set it. I'm just gonna roll it and try to get that three. Why not? Oh my goodness, it did it, it did it, it did it. This is where this is where the seven <laughs> comes in handy. So there's a hundred right there. We lose this. So let's rack this hundred. Let's go back up. You might say, hey, hey, uh, that's the, hey, hey. All right, fine. There. We're running with the bulls. <laughs> On a come out. Here we go. These are off, of course. All right, I'm not even moving it. I'm just going to roll it, see what happens there. And it's a hard four, hard four. All right. So we're back out on the four. Man, that was a 10-10 and then a four and a four. All right, here we go. Let's see. We got this this bet here. Let's just go straight into the uh, iron cross like this and I'm not setting I'm just however they come I'm I'm gonna just grab them and throw them how about that random how about that all right eight all right eight is 35 we're gonna rack that quarter gotta we gotta get back into our back into our bankroll a little bit there they're all oh, the four came man wow wow lost this uh, that was ten dollars there, and uh, and then we didn't even back up the four. That's why we take some hits and put it on the four in case that happens. All right, all right. So let's see. Let's go back out. Got the got the hundred. We got this. Made the four. 
Uh, the same shooter, I'm just gonna grab it just like that, throw it, random, there we go, see what happens. And it's a four, again, again. This is down, we're out on the four. All right, this time when we get a couple hits, we want a five, six, or eight. Actually, I'm gonna just jump into $10 right there. And we're just gonna, we're gonna start putting everything on the four, that's what we'll do. And there's a five, I thought that was gonna be a four. <laughs> but there's a five, no filled five. All right, there is that. Let's pay for this to be up. So we got to buy the four. So buy the four. And so we're going to buy the four and uh, go back in the field. Let's do it. Let's do it. That was a five. So let's see what this one is. Oh, yo. Yo, 11. And I view this as a free bet, as a free roll. It's a horn high yo right there. Back to back. Horns come in pairs. We all know that except for that time <laughs> and many other times. But that's the seven, the seven out. All right, let's see where we're at. We got that and our 25 is down. So what I did is I just put a hundred dollars out here to pay for that hundred. So then I don't have to move all this and I'll put this there and I'll wrap this. And that goes off. Wow, I got 10, 10, four, four and uh, lost every point haven't even made a point yet or no we didn't need a four we made a four and lost that that's why the rack looks like this all right let's roll it and see what happens and it's a yo yo so what happens is right here we we lose this this pays 150 for that 10 all right and so we're gonna go back up we'll rack those and we'll go back up for a 50 and you might say, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. That was a horn. See a horn, better horn. Play it. Running with the bulls. Let me get some change here. All right. There we go. Ten in there. Ten in there. Ten in there. Let's go. Let's see. You said it, so we're doing it. All right. There's a nine. A nine. All right. Point is nine. If anything, that made that. We bought, we, we paid for that because that paid for that. All right. Now we're up. Let's rack this. And let's miss that nine, hit a five. Anything but a nine, how about that? Ooh, an eight, one dot, one dot short, that's great. All right, uh, that's, that's, uh, that, that's what that pays. Let's put this back, let's put the nine there. All right, so here we go. Let's see where we're at, and it's the seven out, wow. Now, some people might say, I hate your strategy, I hate it. <laughs> So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But um, but if you can see, I mean, I'm down. Uh, I started with 500, and I'm down. I want to say I'm down uh, six, seven, seventy dollars. So I'm down seventy dollars. Played for this long, had a two hundred uh, plus two hundred dollar average bet for the time that I'm sitting here. And, uh, and if we keep going, uh, with this, it's going to go up and down. And right now I know that we're just in a downtime. Um, and so just for kicks, um, I'm going to go and see what the come out would be on this next roll just for kicks. And then you can determine what would have happened. What would have happened if, if, uh, let's see if we can get a two or a three. <laughs> A <laughs> 12, a uh, 12. All right, so we lose this. This is a push um, or it doesn't matter. All right, let's do this because uh, it's a horn. That's just for kicks. We've got to get a, establish a point and see what happens there. All right, it's a four. It's a four. And so, man, okay. we had that nine in between, but come out fours and, and tens have been the big thing. All right, this pays for that. And so... The thing is, what will happen? Will we make that four or will we not? I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop the video and roll this out. And then <laughs> I'll let you know how it goes in the comments or something. But uh, hey, thanks for watching. All right, how'd you do? Did you do good enough to get a free cruise offer? I don't know. Hey, check out this video if you want to know more about uh, how to win a free cruise by playing craps on the cruise. And subscribe to the Holy Roller if you would. And, uh, and uh, hopefully I'll see you cruising and rolling on a craps table soon. Now let's go to some bonus content. How did that end up? All right. Let's 
do that. Let's go aggressive in horn high yo. Here we go. Ten dollar horn high yo. Six. That's a push. Here we go again. Six again. That's another push. Hard four. Nothing, nothing for it, man. Nothing for it. 25. And we lose this. Well, we made the point. 